This video is focused on setting up an OSPF neighbor authentication on a Ubiquiti Edge Max DeFi's in order to authenticate our neighbors. So I'm running the same network that I'm also running in all of my OSPF videos with a Cisco on this side connect on an E2 interface on my Edge router and a Juniper on this side connect to the E1 interface. I've already set up all of my IP connectivity and OSPF uh, configuration. I have another video that focuses more on setting up neighborships. However, this video is focused more on setting up the authentication. So what do we have? We have two modes, MD5 or plain text. We actually, we have three modes. There's also a non-authentication mode, which is type zero. Plain text is type one and MD5 is type two, with MD5 being the most secure. We apply our authentication on interfaces or we can apply it both on the area and the interfaces. So if I go to my Cisco configuration for a, uh, for a moment, if you're familiar with this, um, if I run IP OSPF message, I di message digest key and then the key UBNT, for example, I also have to specify the authentication method on the interface unless I specify it globally on the area. So that's why on Cisco, you might want to specify it globally. Then it applies to all interfaces and you just have to specify the key removing one configuration line on these interfaces. However, on the uh, Edge Max, uh, we still have to set the authentication key on the interfaces and it's just one line. So I'm not really sure what the point of setting the authentication on the area is. You just basically only need this line. So when we uh, specify authentication, when we apply it to an area, it also applies to the virtual links if we apply it to area zero because virtual links are always in area zero. And one last thing, if we're using key IDs with MD5, you have a range from one to 255. I have to make sure that those match between neighbors. So if I'm using key ID one on the edge router, I also have to use key ID one on the Cisco. Even if the passwords match and I have a different key ID, my neighbors will not come online. So I'm going to run a plain, te plain text authentication on the Juniper and edge router connection. And on the Cisco edge router connection, I'm going to run MD5. And I'm also going to apply MD5 to the area just for the hell of it but I can override the area authentication by specifying a less secure authentication method on the interface that does not matter. So if I show interfaces and let's get a baseline, I can go to 10.0.12.2 and reach my uh, Juniper device and I can also reach my Cisco device. If I show IP OSPF interface brief, I can see I've already set up OSPF on these E2 and E1 interfaces, but I don't know don't have any neighbors on these segments. So let's set that up. If I go into configuration mode, let me clear the screen. If I go into edit protocols OSPF, if I show, I can see I've already set up area zero and I'm advertising my network ranges. I have a router ID. So if I want to set the authentication for an area, I do that area based set area zero authentication and then MD5 or plain text. I cannot specify a key in this sub level. I have to do that on the interfaces. So once I apply this, this will also apply to any virtual links I might have configured. So if I want to configure uh, authentication, I have to specify that on the interfaces. So I can basically go into the interfaces uh, under the IP OSPF sub level and set the authentication to MD5. If I do a show here, I can see that this is basically the only thing that is applied under this subtree. If I go back to the top, I can apply the other one on the uh, eat one interface, which will be plain text. So if I go through this set authentication, you basically just have two options, MD5 or plain text. MD5 also gives you this key ID, which is in the range from 1 to 255, which I mentioned earlier. So that's basically all we need to do to set up authentication on these interfaces. We can use whatever password string we want, and we can choose whatever authentication method we want, whether this be MD5 or just plain text. And we can run plain text on the interface, even if we have authentication MD5 applied to the area globally, that does not matter. Interface level authentication overrides area authentication. So I get this uh, warning over here, par parameter not configured. I'm not really sure what that's about. I have to clear the IP OSPF process for this command to take effect. So let me go to exit. Let's clear the process. Let's do what it says. And if I go to my Cisco for a moment, I can see I, my adjacency has gone up. So if I go back to my Juniper over here and I show uh, OSPF neighbor, I can see I have a neighbor on 
this segment. And if I go to my Cisco and I do show IP OSP of neighbor, I have a neighbor here as well. So if I go back to my edge router, show IP OSPF interface, I will get the detailed information. And down here, I can see that I'm running message, message digest MD5 authentication on E2, and I'm running simple authentic authentication plain text on E1. If I show IP OSPF, I basically get all this information for the routing process, including my area zero, the backbone area, which has message digest authentication. If I show IP OSPF, neighbor detail i should see my neighbors being up but i do not see what type of authentication my neighbor are using so you might got to make sure that matches between your neighbors the main authentication method that you want to use is of course md5 and not plain text so if i show ip route ospf i will get some routes received from my cisco on this side of the connection and uh, which is the 10.0.13 uh, one, two, and three. If you want more information about these routes, I have another video that focuses more on that. But I can see that I've my routes are perfectly reachable and I have full reachability in my OSPF domain. So that's basically how you set up authentication on these interfaces on the Ubiquiti Edge Max device. Just got to make sure that you apply it on the interface level. The key IDs have to match when you're using MD5 and you can apply it to the area if you want to as well. That's basically it. Thank you for your time.